This is uh, the BY1 paper from January 2012. We're looking at question number three. Um, this is about uh, cellulose. Uh, you can see a very simplified diagram of cellulose in the question. Um, the circles then, um, okay, uh, represent uh, the beta glucose monomers. All right, cellulose is made up of beta glucose, not alpha. Okay, um, so the uh, beta glucose monomers then are joined together uh, by glycosidic bonds, which are those uh, solid black lines between the circles. Um, so you have in this diagram two straight chains of beta glucose, and that's a, a, a typical description of cellulose, made up of beta chains, which are straight. Uh, it's not just two chains, though, in in uh, cellulose, there's, there's many, uh, but each chain of beta glucose um, is bonded together. So you have a, um, a bond there uh, called bond Z uh, as a dotted line. So that represents a bond that holds the chains together. Uh, so the first question uh, is asking you to name that very bond. So the name of bond Z um, is a hydrogen bond and uh, this hydrogen bond is a very important bond in uh, cellulose it, uh, it gives many of the properties that you need to know of in uh, cellulose okay so uh, I've typed in the answer there hydrogen bond uh, the next question then A2 uh, is asking you to explain the importance of bond Z in the role of cellulose in plant cell walls um, so, as I said earlier, this uh, this bond is, is very, very important. Okay, so one thing that you can say here is the fact that bond Z, the hydrogen bond, uh, holds the chains of beta glucose uh, together. Okay, now, um, of course, cellulose is a component of the plant cell walls. So, um, you've got to think about um, the functions of that cell wall and uh, one of those functions there is to uh, give strength uh, to the cell okay uh, the other thing that it does is of course it resists um, the pressure generated by water movement into a plant cell by osmosis um, this this so-called turga uh, which is covered in the uh, osmosis section of the membrane transport uh, topic um, so the uh, cellulose is um, uh, a molecule that strengthens the cell wall, strengthens the cell, makes it rigid. Um, it resists uh, turga pressure, which is the pressure created by uh, water entering the cell by osmosis. Okay, um, that then obviously prevents the cell from bursting. Okay. And um, that are the major um, answers then to this uh, this second part of uh, part A. Okay, I've uh, I've written in the uh, the first marking point. Then the hydrogen bonds hold the chains of beta glucose uh, together. I've also added then that this forms microfibrils. Um, this is uh, another important feature of cellulose that you need to know. Uh, microfibrils are just um, a, a bunch of chains of beta glucose held together uh, by hydrogen bonds. You should also know that those microfibrils also join together to form a larger structure called um, a macrofibril um, or also commonly known as a cellulose fibre. Now both of those structures can be found in the notes that accompany um, uh, the app. Okay, I've just added in the, uh, the the second part of the answer, just saying that the hydrogen bonds strengthen the cell wall and prevent the plant cell from bursting. Um, that, of course, is due to osmotic pressure that's created when water enters the plant cell by osmosis. Uh, so that's a, a reasonable description there, an explanation of the importance of bond Z for, for uh, plant cells. Um, if we move on then to part B, 
um, it's asking you to name the chemical reaction by which monomers join together to form cellulose. Um, the answer to that, of course, is glycosidic, uh, sorry, is called the condensation reaction. After that condensation reaction has occurred, you get a glycosidic bond forming um, between uh, the monomers of uh, cellulose, which, as I said earlier, is known as beta-glucose. Uh, so the answer there to part B1 is condensation reaction. Okay, um, the other um, acceptable answer here that's in the mark scheme, um, although I think I would prefer condensation reaction, but they would allow uh, polymerization. Uh, polymerization is just when you join loads of monomers together to form a polymer, and uh, it's another way of saying condensation reaction, but I think um, the best advice is to stick with condensation reaction. Okay. Right, part B2 then. Uh, chitin has many chemical and structural similarities to cellulose. In chitin, what additional compound replaces one of the OH groups in each of its monosaccharides? Okay, now um, according to the mark scheme uh, for this question, um, they will allow um, amino acid um, or uh, glucosamine or even amine or NH2. Um, now, I don't particularly agree with that marking point in the mark scheme, but um, according to the syllabus, as long as you're able to say that chitin has either amino acid or a glu glucosamine group um, in replace of the OH group, that, that will be acceptable. Um, but in, uh, in reality, um, that's, that's not really what um, is found in uh, chitin. Okay, so I've added uh, amino acid there as the answer. But like I say, the, 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 the real um, molecule that, that replaces the OH group is something called N-acetylglucosamine. Um, like I say, there is glucosamine in, uh, in the answer scheme as well, but I've uh, added amino acid because that's also in the mark scheme. Okay, um, part B3 then, state the structural role of chitin in insects and describe its properties that make it suitable for this role. So we've got to do two things here. We've got to state the structural role of chitin and describe its properties. Um, well, the, the, the structural role, of course, is to produce the exoskeleton, which is the hard outer uh, surface of an insect. All right, so structural role is to provide or to produce the exoskeleton. Um, the properties of that exoskeleton that makes it suitable um, in, in its role in insects is that it is uh, very strong. All right, it provides support for the, uh, the insect. Uh, it's also a waterproof in layer, which prevents water loss. Um, and um, it's also uh, very light. Okay, because insects um, fly, and um, the lighter they are, uh, the better. Okay, then, so I've added in that it forms the exos exoskeleton, which provides waterproofing. Um, moving on, then, to the, uh, the last part of this uh, question, part C. Other polysaccharides have a storage function. Name a storage poly polysaccharide found in animal cells. So the um, storage polysaccharide in animal cells that you need to know about um, is glycogen. Okay, glycogen is a polysaccharide made up of alpha glucose. Um, the plant equivalent of that uh, is starch, um, which is also made up of alpha glucose. But the, the, the structure of starch and the structure of glycogen um, are different in many ways, but there are some similarities. But um, uh, the question isn't asking you about the structure of those polysaccharides, it's just the name of them uh, in plants and animals. And uh, there's the answers, and that's the end of this, uh, this question on uh, cellulose. I hope you found it uh, useful.